In this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure a BGP underlay using open source network operating system, Sonic. Sonic was developed by Microsoft for their Azure cloud, but they made it open source in 2016. Today, industry analysts like Gartner and IDC are predicting that Sonic will become Linux of networking. So this is definitely the right time to learn Sonic and you came to the right place to learn Sonic. My name is Kamran Nakvi. I'm a triple CCI network architect with over 20 years of industry experience. And through this channel, we will continue to share with you tips and tricks to help you become a Sonic guru. So a very warm welcome to our channel. VXLAN eVPN has become the de facto standard for enterprise data centers network fabric. Within this architecture, overlay is always gonna be eVPN, but for underlay, you have multiple options. You can use IGP or you can use BGP. Then within BGP, you can either choose IBGP or eBGP. In this session, we are going to focus on Enterprise Sonic validated design based on RFC 7938, which utilizes eBGP. So let's jump into it. This is the topology that we are going to leverage for our demonstration. As you can see, it's a three switch topology connected in a clause fashion. I'm using GNS3 here which is a popular network emulator. Uh, you can use it for emulating Cisco devices, Juniper, Arista, and so on. Many network engineers are already quite familiar with it. That's why I'm using it. I've got a configuration example here for our BGP underlay configuration. So we will start with this command Sonic CLI, which takes us to the new uh, CLI of uh, Sonic, which is part of the new management framework uh, of Sonic. And I find this CLI, uh, this user interface, it is also called Clish uh, interface. I find Clish interface very user intuitive. And if you are like myself, who's got a Cisco background, you will find that many of the configuration in this mode are very familiar. So for example, if you want to configure an IP address or an interface, you go in the configuration interface mode and you use the command IP space address. Similarly, to configure BGP on a device, you use the command router BGP followed by the AS number. So you go, you're gonna see that the configurations are fairly simple. Let's start from configuring leaf one. adjust it a little bit so you can see so this is the default sonic mode called click but we are going to jump to the new cli sonic cli if you put a question mark you will get the command sen context sensitive help you can see all the options for this command show r question mark will give you all the options for uh, show R, will give you all the options of the command starting with show R. Tab can be used for command completion. Okay, so we're going to start by configuring interfaces, interface IP addresses. I will create a loopback zero here. And the IP address for loopback zero, as you can see in the topology will be 0 0.1. Okay. Move on to ethernet zero. I'll be using a slash 31 subnet mask here. No shutdown. Okay, let's verify, show IP interfaces. 
and I'm happy with it. Let's go to leaf two. Okay, and once again we go to Sonic CLI. Start by configuring loopback. Loopback zero IP address on this side, as you can see, is zero dot three, and the interface connected to spine is Ethernet 4. 1.1.1.3 slash 31 for this side. Shut down. And if I do show IP interfaces for verification, I can see this is the right configuration. That's what I needed. Okay, now let's move to spine. Okay, and try again. Better. Sonic CLI. Loopback zero. IP address is 168.0.2. Now we go, will be configuring two interfaces here. Physical interface, interface Ethernet zero connected to leaf one. An IP address here is 1.1. We can also use up arrow for command recall. And no shutdown. Two IP interfaces. And it looks good. I can ping leaf one. And leaf two. Good. So that's my configuration for the interfaces is done. For the BGP configuration, once again, I will start from my leaf one. So from configuration mode, I'll say router BGP and the AS number. As a best practice, we manually define the router ID by loopback zero. I'll go to address family IPv4 and do a redistribution, redistribute connected. So this way I will be redistributing or advertising all the connected routes into BGP. So my that will include my interface, point-to-point -point interface IP, as well as any loopback IP address, or if I've configured any uh, SVIs, etc. all of those will be advertised. Okay. The next thing is to define my neighbor. So my neighbor for leaf one, there's only one neighbor, which is spine one. Point to point IP is this. We'll define remote AS and we activate BGP for this neighbor in IPv4 address family. And that's it. That's my BGP configuration done on leaf one. I can, if I want to look all my BGP configuration, I will do show running BGP. And it looks good to me. Now, if I want to do a command to see if I have any neighbor relationship up, I can use show IP BGP IPv4 Unicast summary. So this command is equivalent to, if you're familiar with Cisco, show IP BGP summary command on Cisco devices. 
And in this case, as you would expect, that neighbor is defined, but connection is not up. BGP pairing is not up. Okay, now let's go to leaf two. And what I'm going to do, rather than on leaf two, I type all these commands line by line. I'm going to copy paste configuration from leaf one and just edit it in notepad. So AS number, I will change that. I'll change the router ID. The neighbor for leaf two is spine one and the IP on that side is two. Remote AS will remain the same. That's my config for leaf two. And I'll go to configuration mode, paste this. Quick verification, so show running BGP, 0 0.3 and dot two. this looks good. Show BGP IPv4 unicast summary. Once again, neighbor is defined, but it is not active yet. It's not up yet, as we were expecting. Let's go to spine one now. So for spine one, we will actually have two neighbors. So let's define them. First of all, AS number is 65,000, router ID, leaf one, and then we will define leaf two. So dot three and one zero two. And that's it. That's all the configuration we need on spine. We'll go to configuration mode, paste this configuration. Let's verify, show running BGP. Configuration. Configuration looks good. And show BGP IPv4 unicast summary. So remember this is the equivalent to show IP BGP summary as I said. And there we go. We have our two neighbors up. Leaf 1 and leaf 2. And we are learning two prefixes from each of them. If I do show IP route, I should be able to see all the loopback addresses learned through my BGP pairing. I'll do the same on leaf one. Now I have an established connection, show IP route command shows me the loopback addresses learned. Let me quickly ping I'm going to ping my leaf two, and you can see we can ping it. And the last command will be pinging leaf one from leaf two. That is 192.160.1, and there we go. We can ping it. Show IP route will show all the routes. So that is our configuration. BGP underlay configuration completed. If you have any question about the topic we covered in this video, please ask in the comment section. In the next video, we are going to build on the BGP underlay that we configured to create VXLAN EVPN based overlay to achieve a multi-tenant network. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next